Hello everyone, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I plan to tell you everything that I read in the past week and I think it was a really good reading week. I only finished three books but I really enjoyed the three that I read. Um, the first one that I'm going to talk about, and I'm just going to talk about it a little bit because I did talk about it a lot last week as well, and that is I finally finished The Light Between Oceans by N. M. L. Stedman. Um, now this, as you probably know, follows a man named Tom Sherborne. He is a um, war veteran and he is the lighthouse keeper on an island off the, the coast of the mainland. Um, this takes place uh, near Australia. And he falls in love and marries a girl named Isabel. And through some events, um, Isabel is unable to, um, I guess, carry a baby to term um, healthy um i guess that's the best i don't know how to describe it um and you know they're kind of um you know they, they've gone through a lot of hardships as you can probably imagine until one day a boat sort of crashes onto their little island um where they tend to the lighthouse and there are two bodies on board a man who is unfortunately um deceased and a baby and Isabel she kind of convinces Tom to keep the baby and raise the baby as their own and the story goes from there I mean this was a very difficult book at, on um, especially during some parts to read and I definitely had difficulty getting through some parts and I was unsure as to how I felt during while reading it, and I was even unsure as to how I felt after reading it. You know, parts of me just really disliked Isabel. And I, I loved the character of Tom, though. I thought he was a really good character, a good, genuine man, and he really wrestled with, you know, the decisions that he and his wife um, have made, but he loves her. He loves her and wants to take care of her. Um, so I really felt like, you know, he was, I, I liked him as a character. I just felt like he was, um, I wish he was a little bit more flushed out. Um, I really don't want to give away any spoilers. So, um, if you want to read my full review, I did write up a full review on Goodreads and that will, you know, better explain my feelings, I think, about this book. I did enjoy it. I just had um, a few little issues, um, especially with the main character of Isabel. But, you know, I was, um, through the comments of a couple of other booktubers, you know, I started to try to see, I sort of tried to see Isabel's point of view after reading this because I was thinking about it for a few days after finishing it. I finished it, you know, almost immediately after I filmed the Friday Reads last week. And, you know, I'm not sure. I think um, if you want to read my, my review, you're more than welcome to. You know, all of my links are down below as they always are. So that is, um, those are my thoughts on The Light Between Oceans. I did enjoy it overall, but I just had some some small issues with it. The next book that I finished during the week was Westcoats Waistcoats and Weaponry, which is the third book in the Finishing School series by Gail Carriger. I read the first two books earlier this year, um, probably in early summer maybe, and I finally got around to reading the third. I really enjoyed getting back into this world. I cannot wait to read the final, um, the final installment, which is the fourth book soon. Um, but they just get into a bunch, a bunch of shenanigans once again, and I absolutely love Sophronia. I think she's a great main character, and this is um, a school, I've said it before when I read the first two books, a school where you go to learn how to be, you know, a lady, I guess. <laughs> but also, you know, it is a true finishing school in one sense, but you also learn how to become a spy um, and 
an assassin. So it's really, really a fun, fun read. It's steampunk. It takes place in pre-Victorian times, early 19th century. And there are, you know, paranormal creatures, um, you know, werewolves and vampires and all of that. So it's really just a fun, fun read for me. And the final book that I finished this past week was the second book in the Firebird trilogy, which is A Thousand Skies Above You. Absolutely loved this as well. I can't really talk about it without giving away spoilers. All I all I'll say is that it started where the second where the first book left off. Um and it ended with a huge huge cliffhanger. So once I finished this was the last book that I finished um this past week and I immediately reached for the third book A Million Skies Above You which I haven't yet finished and I talked about in my Friday reads. But um yeah, it was just I love this series so much. I'm finding that I really love series that have to do with other dimensions, that have to do with parallel universe or the multiverse. Um, it really is kind of a young adult version of Dark Matter. If you've ever read Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which is an adult sci-fi, this reminds me of that a bit, um, just with younger characters. So I really am enjoying this so much. And yeah, I cannot wait to continue. So that is it. Those are the three books that I finished this week. Um, overall, I really had a good reading week. You know, despite my conflicting feelings about um, The Light Between Oceans, you know, in retrospect, I really had fun reading it. And I did really like the character of Tom. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.